Hello viewers, today I have Huawei MediaPad M5 Lite JDN L09 so we will enable OEM unlock in developer options by tapping 7 times on build number then in developer options you need to enable OEM unlock if this option is grayed out on your tablet you must connect uh, Wi-Fi on your tablet I have connected uh, Wi-Fi but still it is grayed out so maybe we need to uh, do a restart and if after restart still this option is grayed out you must uh, add Google account uh, in your tablet and then you will be enable uh, you will be able to uh, enable this OEM unlock first we will try with the reboot after uh, reboot I will see if option is enabled if not then we need to add the Google account and then 100% uh, guaranteed that OEM unlock will be enabled okay OEM unlock is enabled and now we will uh, enter fast boot mode and we will see if bootloader is locked or unlocked because I have not unlocked the bootloader yet so I will show you that uh, that bootloader must be unlocked in order to uh, make the root okay we will hold volume down and insert cable and uh, here we can see FRP is unlocked which is OEM unlock and uh, phone is sh still showing locked and now I am going to unlock the bootloader viewers uh, bootloader unlock is not free so that is why I'm not showing you that how to unlock okay it is not free you can use my service or you can use any other uh, third party service to unlock the bootloader okay you can see it is saying your device has been unlocked and cannot be trusted it means the bootloader has been unlocked okay once tablet rebooted uh, after bootloader unlock we need to allow files transfer mode so that we can copy um, magisk apk file in our uh, tablet we was i am using magisk version 23 so i will also recommend you to use the same version because uh, in latest uh, magisk uh, sometimes it does not work with kirin cpu because this tablet have uh, kirin chipset so we will use the older version which is 23.0 the latest one is 25 but we are going to use 23 okay once uh, magisk installed we will power off the tablet and disconnect from pc and then we need to hold volume down only only volume down and insert the cable and your tablet should enter fast boot mode and now we will be able to see that phone is showing unlocked which means bootloader is unlocked okay uh, we will open the minimal adb interface on computer and uh, type the command fastboot space flash space underscore sorry space recovery underscore ram disk and then simply drag and drop the patched uh, magisk patched uh, recovery oh i dropped wrong file it is it should be magisk patched 23.00 this uh, image file you need to drag and drop on this uh, CMD screen and press enter we was these files I will share with you uh, you will be able to find the link in description of this video once uh, flashed you need to disconnect your tablet from PC and hold volume up and power buttons simultaneously we was keep holding both buttons volume up and power 
until you see this message on your screen where it says your device uh, has been unlocked that's a smaller message will appear if you see, see this one this is the correct message the smaller one if your tablet shows a longer message with three options it means you failed to hold the buttons you need to repeat the process okay you need to hold the buttons again until you see this shorter message now we will wait for the reboot we are at home screen again we will open magisk make sure your tablet is connected to wi-fi and it will ask you for additional setup uh, um, you must press ok don't skip this option this is very important ok you must press ok and uh, your tablet should automatically reboot in five seconds and this time you don't need to hold the buttons any buttons ok we will wait for the reboot again we will open magis again and uh, here we can see version 23.0 is installed and uh, now we are going to uh, make some settings we should and disable automatic updates for uh, magis and also enable magis hide then systemless hosts must be enabled okay then we are going to fix safety net we need to flash some modules first we need to search for simply type in hide and you will see magisk hide props config must install this module don't reboot after flashing this module okay you can if you want but you don't need to reboot okay simply go back after the flashing finishes and uh, then again you need to search for riru okay now search for the riru and you will get the Riru module flash it after Riru you can restart your tablet if you want otherwise you can skip uh, still uh, okay I have pressed the reboot button okay let's wait for the reboot now okay tablet uh, started again now we will uh, now we need to flash the safety net fix module viewers make sure in magisk hide you uh, should enable uh, google play services in order to uh, pass the safety net we will check the safety net uh, will fail because we still have to flash another module which is actually for uh, fixing the safety net okay you can see it is saying safety net attestation failed we will open chrome and uh, in chrome we need to search safety net fix and you will get some suggestions uh, there in google safety net fix simply search this and uh, you need to open the github uh, link which says re releases okay this one in releases you need to look for uh riru version okay don't flash the disk you need riru version 2.1.3 version okay download this version of safety net fix and flash it in magisk once it is downloaded it is very small file 
Open my Disk Manager, go in Module section, install from Storage and select that Safety Net Fix module and flash it. And after that, you must reboot, must reboot your tablet. Okay. Okay, tablet rebooted. Now we will open Magisk and uh, check for safety net. Yes, it is successfully passed. So we have successfully rooted uh, JD and L JD and two L zero nine running EMUI nine point one. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.